Ryan, check this out. Whoa, you got new plants. Yes, these are Venus flytrap and they eat meat like this. Wait, wait, why do they eat meat? <gasps> Good question, Ryan. Uh, I'll explain it to you. Let's go, guys. What? Welcome to Ryan Toy Reveal. Whoa. Hi, everybody. Okay, so did you guys know that some plants have adapted to eat meat? These are called carnivorous plants. But why? Do they eat meat? These plants eat meat because they get their nutrients from bugs and insects like those. Oh, I am not a fan of insects. So I'm gonna get out of here. Oh. The type of soil that these carnivorous plants live in don't give them enough nutrients. So they adapted to eat meat. Check out this plant in real life. This carnivorous plant is very, very well known. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's the Venus flytrap. Look, wow. So first, a lot of these carnivorous plants have this red color like that. That helps attract insect to it. And the Venus flytrap use these hair-like pieces to snap shut whenever it feels something on its leaf, look. Let's try this. Take both hands out, put it together like this, and your little fingers are like the little hair on the ends of the leaves of the Venus flytrap. Then, when something finds its way in between the leaves, you snap shut so that it can't escape, see? Now, pretend this stick right here is a little insect. We're going to touch the leaves of the Venus flytrap and see what happens, okay? All right. Whoa! Oh no, it closed shut, look! <laughs> it can't get out. Wow, that's so cool. Whoa! That was fast and crazy. Look at this. Whoa! Wow, that was so interesting and crazy, right? Once the Venus flytrap closed tight, the insects can't get out because the hair on the Venus flytrap locks in place. That makes the perfect trap. It only takes the Venus flytrap one second to close shut. And once it closes in on the insect, the Venus flytrap use its digestive plants to break down its food and use it for nutrients. Pretty cool, right? So we learn all about the Venus flytrap, but what about the other carnivorous plants? There's butterwort, pitcher plant, and drosera. All of these plants have what looks like refreshing water droplets or super yummy nectar. But don't let that fool you. They only look delicious, but to insect, they're dangerous. Humans don't have to worry. Look, we're too big. Whoa, that are some crazy carnivorous plants, but we learned so much about them. So time for a quiz. Question number one. Why do some plants eat meat? A, they're so bored. B, they're looking for a best friend. Or is it C, they get their nutrients from bugs and insect? The answer to why do these plants eat meat is because C, they get their nutrients from bugs and insects. Question number two, what color attracts the insect to the Venus flytrap? Is it A, blue? Is it B, red? Or is it C, periwinkle? 
So what color attracts the insect to the Venus flytrap? The answer is B, red. Did you guys get it? Red? Question number three. How long does it take the Venus flytrap to snap close? Is it A, one second? Or is it B, 10 minutes? Or is it C, a whole hour? The answer is A. It takes the Venus flytrap one second to snap shut. That was so much fun. I hope you guys learned so much and get the answer right. And if you didn't, it's okay. You can try again next time. For now, let's go back and tell Ryan everything we learned about these type of meat eating plants, okay? Whoa, they ate even more bugs. Ugh. Hey Ryan, whoa that's so cool. Okay guys, I hope you guys learned a lot about plant eating meats. And remember, always stay happy and eat up. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye. Please click on one of these videos for Ryan Toy Review more fun!